This is an explanation of mirror stances. The way that these two wrestlers are facing each other, it's as if their lead legs are looking into a mirror. So wrestler A, the taller wrestler, has his right leg forward. If he were looking into a mirror, it would appear as if his mirror reflection has his left leg forward which is what we see in wrestler B, the defensive wrestler in this case. So this is called a mirror stance. Now we're going to demonstrate opposite stances. So wrestler B is going to switch his legs. Now wrestler B has his right leg forward. Wrestler A has his right leg forward. So even though both of them have their right legs forward, it's actually an opposite stance because the lead leg of wrestler A is opposite, directly opposite the lead leg of wrestler B. So mirror stances once again. Wrestler B now has his left leg forward. Wrestler A has his right leg forward. It's as if wrestler A is looking into the mirror. This is a mirror stance. Opposite stances once again. Now it is not a mirror stance. It doesn't look like wrestler A is looking into the mirror because the opposite leg is forward as far as his opponent goes. So this is how uh, mirror stances and opposite stances work. This is very important to understand because the types of attacks that you can do as far as leg attacks are dependent upon whether you have a mirror stance or an opposite stance.